An online group claiming it hacked the Washington, D.C. Police Department is demanding a ransom or else it will leak sensitive information about investigations and informants. Some information has already been released, such as lists of arrests and persons of interest. The organization behind the alleged attack says it has more than 250 gigabytes of data from the department. DC police under attack by the Babook ransomware group. They went a little bit deeper here than what a lot of ransomware attacks do. They actually look at the actual information that they have to figure out what angles they could use to create fear when they're trying to extort these victims. A police spokesperson says that they are aware of, quote, unauthorized access to its server, adding that they've engaged the FBI on the matter. You know, this landscape, the cyber criminal ecosystem, is a complex one. Uh, it's constantly evolving. Um, the actors are more sophisticated than they've ever been. And I think that we here at the FBI recognize that it's going to take everyone in government working together, um, and not just government alone, but working together with the private sector um, to make sure that we are safer, more secure, and can have more confidence uh, in the digitally connected world we live in. There's a fight going on whether they're going to pay it or not or whether they can get this stuff back. And apparently it's taken too long and so stuff is now showing up on the dark web. Experts say it's the worst known ransomware attack ever to hit a U.S. police department. So they've hit corporations, they've hit municipalities, uh, and now they've hit a police department. At this time, all we know is that NPD is admitting to unauthorized access to their data but there is no information as to how much the ransom actually is. Of the five targets that Babic has attacked, they have been successful with one, and we know that they landed around 85,000 USD from that ransom. Uh, it's profitable. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, most of these actors who are launching ransomware attacks against entities within the United States and elsewhere around the globe are interested in uh, earning a profit. And so as they have seen that, uh, you, you know, this type of activity continues uh, to bring in revenue and to be profitable, that has continued to, uh, to fuel the uh, efforts of these organizations to launch these attacks for a profit motive. DCPD appears to be the third police department targeted by this group, but they've also hit a medical testing firm, a heating company, and even the Houston Rockets basketball team. This appears to be a financially motivated group uh, targeting uh, low-hanging fruit. Phishing is on the rise, especially during the pandemic. Uh, this is when you receive an email or a text message with a link that seems legit. When you click, uh, it steals your username and password. Kind of a sophisticated hack, or at least launching a custom strain of ransomware requires some uh, coordination and planning. But phishing is a, a really simple and effective method of infiltrating targets. With Babic, you'll notice that they like to blame their victims. This instance isn't any different as they're taunting the MPD for not staying up to date on their security. Babbitt claims to have found a zero day before the MPD, which highlights the bigger issue at hand. Many organizations, including the MPD, have a hard time staying up to date on patches or addressing every zero day. Ransomware extortion demands are growing and so is the downtime caused by attacks. The average uh, ransom payment paid by victims of ransomware attacks has risen as cyber criminals exploit vulnerabilities in software. Phishing attacks are also right up there. This is busted in the front door and they're getting in the back door using things like phishingware attacks. They're not getting in and just deploying ransomware and locking files and asking for an amount. They're getting in there, they're doing their research, they're doing their due diligence to figure out what network they have access to, what they can steal, what they can exploit, and then once they know what they have, then they're coming up with a dollar figure. The reality of it is, is that they're breaking into bigger and bigger companies, so they're asking for more and more money. Now, negotiations can go many ways. If you pay the ransom and as your files are being unencrypted, it's not uncommon that we hear that these hackers turn around and ask for more money in the middle of the decryption process. On less than 1% of malicious cyber incidents result in an enforcement action taken against the attackers. So they assume they can get away with it because most of them do. With police finding themselves forced to consider making payments to criminal gangs, the FBI, which is assisting, discourages payments in ransomware situations. The real lesson here is it's got to just be better security going forward. 
we do need upgrades to uh, all sorts of digital infrastructure. However, when it comes to places like uh, your state and local government or hospitals, even police departments, it's really hard to take critical systems offline, even for a short amount of time, to do the needed upgrades. And and that doesn't even address the, the lack of funds that a lot of these places have. So this is a great uh, example of the vulnerabilities that exist in systems across the world. This is happening not just in America, it's happening around the world. I would say there's a couple of factors that have uh, lent itself to more and more of this type of activity. Um, one is, is the ability to readily get hands on the tools that are required for a ransomware attack, sort of a malware as a service or ransomware as a service type of model has allowed less sophisticated than knowledgeable actors to be able to essentially purchase off the shelf items on the dark web and um, launch those attacks with relatively uh, low barriers to entry from a technical sophistication standpoint. And also the rise of virtual currency has made the monetization of cybercrime and ransomware in particular um, easier and more anonymous than it's ever uh, been in the past. And so really that confluence of, of factors has led us to the point where we are today, and our own directors even uh, refer to it as uh, an epidemic. Uh, it's reached epidemic levels. Uh, let's hope for the best for the people out in D.C. Hopefully they get help from the FBI and they can recover quickly. There are thousands of attacks that go on sort of all day long, and every once in a while one slips through and that's all that it takes.